Welcome back to the channel. I don't want to waste any time. I don't have a lot of time for carving at the moment, so let's jump straight into it. If you want to see how these two opals got to this stage, then check out the past video. I'll link it, I don't know, somewhere up the top here. It should pop up. So this is opal A, opal B, both Mintabees. They're fighting it out to see which one produces the better stone. Uh, just a quick recap on A. We've got reasonable colour, but there's a little bit of sand over there. The colour's just starting to come through now. Opal B, huge patch of a little bit of off-coloured brown, which I want to get rid of. But also some really good red, some really good blue. Mainly just a lot of red, especially at this angle. If you spin it around, there's a bit of blue, green starting to creep in. But mainly just a whole heap of red. But like I said, brown dirty patch. We want that gone. So we might be able to get them done in this video. I won't get ahead of myself. We'll just try to progress through some of these diamond grits. I'll, I think I've done enough with the blacks, so we'll probably go for the blues and then maybe the yellows. The reds might feature in there at some point if I really want to... If I think the blues are eating too much, then I'll switch over to the red. But we will carry on and might even get to the Nova points and the polishing stage today. Let's see how it goes. Then a successful carving. So this is A. A is pretty damn good. There's not a lot more work that I've got to do on it. If I bring it up out of the water, you can see here that there's a little bit of an inclusion area just here, and there's another one just up there. But apart from that, it's actually cleared up quite well. It's a bit of an unusual shape. I've decided with both these pieces I'll go fairly natural shaped. Because I like this bottom edge over here as well, which I've tidied up a tad, but not much. You can see the cutting marks across it. So, yep, this is definitely going to be the bottom. I could probably dop it now, but it's fairly large. I don't think I'll bother. I just need to go to the last grit of diamond. So, the pretty, the pretty high grit stuff. 
And then we're just going to get rid of these, get rid of this, smoothen the whole face, get rid of that ridiculously strong cutting marks that you can see here. And then we'll switch over to the Novas. So not much to say about that one. Now the second one, B, I think is just behind. Just behind the 8-ball. I think it's losing the battle at the last rounds. So we've got these dull areas that you could see earlier. So these two areas here are pretty much, there's no, there's nothing good. I mean, I dug fairly deep. You can see here that we've interrogated fairly deep, but that brown still exists and there's not much color there. So those two sections are going to be lost. There's heaps of color along this edge and over here. So we're going to salvage a really good stone over here, a couple carrots worth. And then this here, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's got a deep color bar and it's got a lot of red. I'll give it a quick dunk. Gave it a quick dunk to bring it back to life. So you can see here, this is this is just color, color on color. And mainly just red, but there's a little bit of green blue there that's next to every now and then. Typically not from this angle, you have to kind of rotate it around and there's your blue, there's green in this direction I think. Yeah, blue and greens come through this direction. So it's a it's quite a nice stone. Most of the time it's just facing red, which is incredible. And here we can actually cut a proper shaped stone out of it. And over here is where I've pulled up just short of the color bar because I'm not that interested in hunting it right now, but there's basically just green and red and it goes much deeper over there. It kind of peters out towards the pointy end, so could possibly even cut it back to here somewhere as well and lose that little point and have something just here. But I'm not too sure whether this is going to be able to contend with A because A is just full color across the entire face and it's probably gonna if I get them side by side probably gonna produce the more full stone though having a look at them side by side the brightness is definitely there with B but who knows maybe after polishing up A a little bit more the colors will pop so yeah, we'll attack them now with the higher grit and then go across to the um, Nova points and possibly even go through for a polish. So we should get these done in this video, which is exciting. I'll off camera just cut this off. I'll just basically refer to my videos in the past about cutting. I'll probably put a link up the top here somewhere, but I'm just gonna cut that off, cut that off, and then we'll focus on this bit. This bit here for now is going to be the majority of the good opal in this stone and we'll keep them fighting.
Cutting two stones in one video is no joke, that took me so much longer than I thought. But this is what we've ended up with. So this is A as you can see here and this is what's left of B after I did the slice. You can see here there's the other little pieces. It's a bit of the rubbish piece, another bit of rubbish piece and this one's the one with the red, red colouring in it. But this is what's left from that square piece. We'll look at, we'll look at A first. So this is, I've got to say, probably the winner out of the batch, out of the four. So if anyone picked, I believe it was number two. There were four of you that picked it as your first preference. Number two is the star of the show. Comes out on top of all four, comes out on top of this head to head battle. It's not quite as bright as this one here, as we'll see, but look at the size. I mean, this one, I've still got to take up the bottom of it up to here somewhere, so it's still going to lose another oh, 40-50% of its current weight. But we'll look at him in a minute. So this is a nice multicolor. It's facing fairly well. It's in weird shape, so you can see there it's quite concave. I kept this side part just because it's nice and flashy. I, I thought about turning it into a um, circle just around here cutting off this corner but because it wouldn't be a flat circle I didn't really see the point in that so I'm just going to keep it as is. It's fairly colourful. It's a bit directional though so here you can get the reds flashing through. It looks a lot more crispy in person. Reds, I've noticed, don't come up that well on this camera, which is a little bit annoying since it's our most prized colour, but that's alright. You can just imagine, it's just like you can see that green and blue, and it's that foily kind of look, that is actually what the red looks like too, except on camera it comes up as like this muted kind of red-pink. That's alright, I'll work on that, we'll get a, we'll get a better camera. This, here it tries a little bit, but yeah. Just imagine, shiny green and yellow you see in that left side. That's exactly the same with the red. So quite a nice stone. And then this bad boy. So it ha took a lot of cutting this one. And we've just ended up with that... Remember I was talking about that circle in the middle that would change colour from colourless to getting that blue flash to having the red flash come through? Yep, that is that is still there and it is right in the center of the stone. It's hard to actually get focused properly with the dop stick still on it. But it does this nice little exploding pattern. So there's this little red dot there and then boom, it travels outwards as you rotate it, which is kind of cool. And also that red dot turns blue, depending on the angle you're holding it at. So, yeah, a little bit of a multicolour, but mainly dominated by the red. It is definitely brighter than the other. But it's also fairly directional. But the colour play is what's directional about it. So it's nice to have a bit of colour play like this. I haven't actually seen one where it's like an exploding red dot. So that's quite cool. And I reckon this one, if I could... I mean, it'd be impossible to match. But if I could match it, it would make a great set of earrings. Imagine that exploding red on both earrings. I'd say almost impossible to find, but that's Opal. So yeah, that's that's what we've ended up with, these two pieces out of those, out of two and four. So yeah, two, four. They didn't get many votes, but turns out they were the only ones that really faced that strongly. I mean, the other one was pretty good with the crystal, so I will make a doublet out of it, but yeah. That's the end of this battle, I think. Number two, option A comes out on top and is the champ. So give it up for A and we will move on to possibly some boulder opal. Just because I've spent so much time on Minterby now, I, I am missing the boulder. So I'll probably do a bit of a boulder opal, but we'll see. I'll dig around, have a look. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.